What is up, Tube Tube? Welcome back to Loguido's Chop Shop, the second best jaw blaster channel on the tubes. And today I've got a nondescript black box, which you guys already know because you read the description that it is the MB08 Wells Sniper Gel Blaster. And this has come from uh, Command Elite Hobbies, and they at the moment should be giving a 10% discount on this blaster uh, if you use the code Guido's Sniper Sale. I'll put that in the description because it is a long code. Um, just for what it's worth, this is a this is not an affiliate code. This is just a discount for you guys. Uh, I think it's going to go for two weeks or something from the release of this video uh, so yeah you've, uh, you've only got a limited time to take uh, advantage of that 10% discount as I said it's not an affiliate code I don't get any commission or anything so it's just a discount purely for you guys if you buy this Wells from Command Elite Hobbies now that that's done let's get inside this box that's what he said Alright, let's see what we've got. We have the instruction manual, which is actually in English, which is cool. And then we have the blaster in here. Hmm, looks pretty solid. I'm going to get this out, I'm going to get this all out of the box, and then do that. Alright. This has given me... This has given me some mad AWM vibes. Is this an AWM? Is that what this is? So this looks like a nylon frame there. There's the magazine. Looks kind of looks like it's got a combination of plastic and some sort of cast alloy in there. Got some Allen keys and some oh some some OG gold packets. They did they did actually send me some uh, some Spartans as well. So I'll uh, I'll probably be testing these in a later video, but I will um, I'll have to grow a few to uh, test into this thing as well. Um, the Barrel assembly is hefty. It's like it's got some weight to it. So it's uh, probably Mostly metal I'd say it looks like yeah, looks like uh, Aluminium and hey, that's pretty cool eee! It's got a cleaning rod Not too many flasks that come with a cleaning rod. Alright, let's get this box out of the way. Alright, before I put this together, I just want to have a quick look at a few things here. It's got this little bipod. Uh, it's not a bipod, it's a monopod. It's a, mon a monopod, which is to be used in conjunction with a bipod. Um, which is cool, a little... Uh, retractable, spring-loaded uh, monopod in the back there. It's got the adjustable cheek riser, which uh, the screws for the adjustment are on the other side here. They are alloy screws, and um, this appears to be uh, plastic with, I think the pins, the, yep, the holding pins are metal, so you can set that to your desired spot um, it is it is a folding stock which is um, incidentally what this pin here is for uh, this little spring on this side uh, is supposed to yep that holds that there and then just a firm 
firm grab and pull to release it. The that's metal as well. The sling loops are metal. The monopod there is metal. And it does have um, what appears to be like there's spots here to have a bipod uh, on the front. There's some little pieces here where there should be like perhaps a a mounting arrangement for a bipod so you could probably purchase that one separately it doesn't seem to come in the box with that um, the actual receiver shell here is nylon uh, you can see there's some there's a bit of flashing uh, still in here and uh, there's a couple of little marred bits in here oh, that's interesting I don't know what that would be from perhaps perhaps improper insertion of the barrel um, okay so speaking of improper insertion of the barrel let's insert the barrel so it looks like it just Drops in the drops in the top here. There we go. And then of course um, there's the screws to do up underneath here. Um, I, the screws are captured, which is kind of cool. You don't have to get the screws and and uh, put them in. Like I think I've had one of the AWMs in the past. Uh, different brand where it certainly screws in together but um, but you've got to put the screws in this one looks like the screws are captive inside the uh, the receiver there and then you just sort of screw them in There we go. It certainly is a pretty nice looking and weighty blaster. Um, it's difficult for me to lay it down now with the bolt in there. Uh, and I probably can't fit it all in screen because it is quite long. This, can you hear that? Some ASMR right there the sound of fingers on aluminium I love that I love that sound the sound of fingers on aluminium just saying um, so yeah so we got a nylon receiver aluminium outer uh, by the looks of it in here we've got an aluminium inner as well although I'll probably have a closer look at that later this looks like a cast alloy um, action I guess the magazine. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> Have a look at this. The magazine actually suggests that it's for uh, 6 mm Bravo Bravo type gels, whatever, whatever they are. I'm not familiar with those ones, um, but it does. It does appear that. Uh, Does appear that the uh, the lips here are uh, are just drilled drilled out to uh, eight millimeter or seven and a half millimeter. I wonder if that's going to affect the feeding. I might have a look at that. So the way that the way that you load this, pull back this spring, and then push your gels 
under this hole here, or just drop them on the floor. Speed loader would probably be easier here, um, but I like doing everything the hard way, so I'll, uh, I'll just do my hand. Does it lock back? Does this lock back? No. If it does, I haven't worked out how yet. Alright. Squeeze a few more in. Alright, so I've managed to squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen in there. I think it was thirteen. Now I'm just going to see, just manually, how well this thing feeds. Alright, got my little bucket here. I'm just going to. Seems alright. I didn't break a single gel, I'll just flick them one by one out of there and nothing caught up, so um, I, I'd be inclined to want to get a small file and just 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 take the edge off of off of this because it is it is a bit rough. I mean I didn't I didn't smash any gels, so what can I say? Alright, so I've got some gels loaded in the magazine. Insert the mag in there, it sits nice and flush, the mag release is here. Uh, let's, let's chrono this thing, see what it does on the chrono. Alright, here we go. Oh man, that has got a nice smooth action. It's a it's a metal cylinder by the looks of it. That's three ninety three. Nice smooth bolt cycle action. Three ninety three. Is that register? Yeah, it's, it says two shots. 390, come, come on, is this for real? This is a, such a smooth cycling bolt. wants to do three nines. That's crazy. Oh, I think I'm out. Let's try one more. Yeah, I'm out. Alright. Oh, that was interesting. Um, I don't think I've had a blaster out of the box that nearly tops Nearly tops 400 FPS. Average of 388. Wow. That thing's powerful. Powerful. Alright, well this thing is is pretty impressive. Um I I gotta I gotta admit I was skeptical. Um I'm always a bit skeptical of, of bolt actions because uh, in gel ball snipers aren't that useful. I mean, the, the, 
they have their merits, but like you're always gonna if you're if you're using a sniper rifle in a game, you are always gonna get beaten by someone with a full auto, um, just spraying gels at you. But they do they do have their merits for sure. Um, I I don't know if you can see there's a little safety switch here, and you can see when it's in the safe mode, there's no red, and when it's when it's uh, not in safe, there's a little red dot visible, which is pretty cool. Um, the trigger also has the little sort of trigger safety, so you have to push the center of the trigger down so that it will um, pull the trigger. But this bolt, this bolt, and I mean, it's going to be difficult for me to actually do on, while it's on the bench here because <laughs> this is just awkward. But this is a, looks like a full aluminium, full aluminium bolt with a, or alloy, I'll say alloy, because, um, and an alloy bolt handle, um, this is, this looks all alloy here, so a lot of the previous, um, bolt actions that I've reviewed, you, you, they come with a plastic bolt which snaps. It's pretty much straight away it snaps, so you always have to try and replace them with a aluminium one so that you don't, when you pull it on it, you don't snap it. However, uh, <laughs> in my experience, the only ones that ever really worked were the, were the GJ M24 and the GJ AWM, which looked a lot like this one, but much more plastic, much more, I mean, this is also plastic, <laughs> but just like the, the quality of the plastic, this is a much higher quality of plastic than the, um, the, uh, GJ. But I mean, you know, given, given what it was, it is a toy, like, it's, the GJ had its place as well, but just, like, nowhere near as good as this. The, um, the fact that it comes standard with an alloy bolt and cylinder, that's awesome. All right, um, I'm gonna take it apart. Um, let's take the magazine out, um, which is the mag releases here, and <laughs> it flies out. That spring on top of the magazine there, it seems like it, that's, it, the sole purpose of that is to just eject that magazine. Like it literally ejects. It flies out. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. There is another little thing here which I don't quite understand. Um, it's a little tab which, when it's inserted, it pushes down on that tab, which pushes down on the follower a little bit. So when the mag's inserted, that follower gets pushed down, which um, seems to make it not want to feed the last gel. You always seem to eject the mag with one gel remaining in the mag. So I'm not quite sure what that's for. It's probably a hangover from hard polymer. There was probably some little piece of action that would do something when the magazine was empty. And I mean, I can see there's something here which looks like it's the thing, like, it looks like it's where that would be, but that seems like, I don't know, it seems unused or something. I'm not sure, maybe I'll find out what that is when we pull it all apart. So I'm going to pull it apart now. We'll start with um, the two screws that I put in to begin with. Actually, I've cocked this, so I am going to... I'm going to release it, so it's not under pressure when I'm taking it out. Um, Alright, now I will... undo this, undo this. Barrel assembly out. 
All right, actually, I want to have a look at that thing. See, see what that is. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what purpose that's supposed to serve. What does that do? Pushes that up into. I think it's fair to say whatever it's supposed to do, it doesn't do on this model. It's probably something from from the hard polymer model, and I don't think doesn't seem to have any. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't. I don't know. Doesn't seem to have any point in this one. Alright, so, this part, not all that interesting in terms of pair de tear down, there's no real active parts in this, so I'll just put that away, and let's look at this action down here. Now, the trigger is metal. The um, bolt handle is metal, the cylinder is metal, but it seems like the housing in here is plastic. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. Now, generally speaking, with these, uh, you sort of have to remove this pin. This pin's what holds the bolt back. Um, what holds the um, the back of the spring retainer when you when you pull the bolt back? So by removing this, you should be able to remove the whole thing. Let's get into that. All right. So just firm pull down on that, and that will remove that part. Now, um, in theory, by removing that, the bolt should now be free uh, to be removed. Oh, it is. That's interesting. So there is. Ah, oh, that's the that's the feed. That's the feeder. Okay. Cool. So that's a little piece that pushes the gels out of the magazine and causes them to feed. Um, in here, there's the uh, the sear, which catches on uh, this here, which is the piston. So catches on that part of the piston and pulls it back. Now the sear. Is it What's a sear made of? The piston looks like it's made of nylon. So, um... I probably wouldn't want a metal sear against a nylon piston because a nylon piston would uh, would get eaten away by a metal sear. So I imagine that the sear is probably nylon as well. Does feel a bit nylon. Um, let's let's pull this let's pull this action out and uh, see what's next. It looks like uh, a couple of Phillips head screws should take care of that. Alright, so it looks like it's number one Phillips. Just two screws in here. And uh, I don't think that's nylon. I think that's metal. Let's have a look. Uh, yep, yep, that is a cast alloy, cast alloy sear by the looks of it. Very 
interesting. So, I'm not going to pull the entire um, trigger assembler apart because, I mean, there's not really anything interesting in there. The, the, the trigger itself is, is a cast alloy as well. The little uh, safety part is cast alloy. But the housing here is plastic, which is interesting. But um, let's set this aside and let's have a look at this. Um, have a look at this bolt because I'm interested in this bolt. This is pretty interesting. I like the I like the little nozzle pusher there. Um, I'm going to uh, have a look at the piston. We're going to open this up. Have a look what's inside. All right. So I got some. Uh, so quick pliers here, pop it into two holes, okay so that's surprisingly easy, like, wow well, I can, I, I thought that was going to be hard, alright, let's keep in mind that there is a spring in here, I'm just going to, let's see if I can pop this little nozzle thing off now. Just keep it on there, uh, and let's try not to. There we go. Shoot it across the room. Nice looking alloy nozzle. Um, interesting nylon piston, though. I mean, I guess it's lightweight, but I don't. Yeah. This spring, I am not sure what uh, this spring is rated to, but I <laughs> I assume it would be uh, at least an M140, given the, the numbers that we were getting out of this thing. Um, and the, the cylinder is very, very greasy as well. Nice, nice and greasy, <laughs> nice and lube. I'm surprised by this though. The, the nylon, it's, it's, it's certainly interesting, um, but hey, it seems to work. Uh, I, I, I'm curious as to how, curious as to how long that, I mean, it seems like a pretty hard nylon and that's got quite a good purchase on it. I wonder how long that would last. Oh, I guess we'll I guess we'll find out. But so far so good. There's no there's there's no signs of wear on this at all. Um and I, I have had a little bit of a play off camera. So uh yeah, I'm not showing any signs of wear, that's a good that's good. Alright. I'm gonna pop all this back together. I think we've I think we've seen all we need to see from uh, this side of things, really. Wait, there is there is one more thing I want to look at. Um, I want to look at this barrel. Seems like the outer has a screw cap, which unscrews. And then the inner probably should do that the other way around. It looks like a 7.5 and 7.7. Interesting. This looks like a 7.7 mil ID. That's, that's, that's an odd size. Uh, oh wait, uh, yeah, okay. Let's, let's just have another quick look at this. Make sure my verniers are right. Mm, 7.7. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Nearly 400 FPS, like, like, 
with a 7.7 .7. man that must be a beefy spring that's more than it that's that's more what did I say M140 that's more than that it's got, I don't know if only there was a way I could measure springs and tell you how much yeah, yeah, yeah. all right <laughs> I'm gonna pop this back together uh, opposite opposite of um opposite of dis disassembly obviously assembly is the opposite of disassembly so you just do the exact opposite of what you've just done to take it all apart it's interesting despite being an incredibly stiff spring it's um well stiff i say stiff powerful it's it's an incredibly powerful spring but it's not difficult to load into the cylinder um some of the previous blasters that I have dealt with bolt bolt actions, um, the M24 and whatnot. When you put a big spring in them, it's really really hard to, hard work to push them all back together. Um, I have shot many a cylinder head off, off the bench just from the spring tension. All right, I'll whack this back together now. Bolt in. Just got to make sure that the uh, little thing lines up. The little uh, this thing. pusher I'm gonna call it there, you go. there it is there the little, little pusher you just gotta make sure when you slide it in that that's on the bottom and then we screw this guy back in two Phillips head screws Now we've got to pop that, uh, I don't know the technical name of this, but it's the spring retaining bar. It's the piece that catches the, it basically holds the back of the spring retainer. Um, when you pull the bolt back, you're actually pulling it back against that. That's what it sits up in there, you pull it back. And that's what holds the back of the spring. So as you're pulling this back, the spring gets compressed against that and then clicks in, locks against the um, the sear. Then you push the bolt forward and then trigger pulls the sear down. Off we go, all right. Nice and easy, nice and easy to tear down this one. I guess there's not much, not much involved in the uh, bolt action. Not too many moving pieces. All right. Well, well, well. That is a surprising little unit. Um, probably one thing it's going to need, uh, I, I guess, is a hop up. Um, I don't know what type of hop because it's not. Um, I guess you can unscrew that 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 thing that screws off the front of the barrel. You can unscrew that and and slide a hop onto there. But um, yeah, it'll be interesting with a hop hop up on it to to see what sort of range you can get out of it. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, if you're interested in buying a patch. Hit me up on uh, Facebook, Lo Guido's Chopters, and um, don't forget also Command Elite 
Hobbies should be giving a 10% discount uh, with the code. Hello, I think it's Guido. I'll put it in the. I'll put it in. The, <laughs> I'll put the link in the description. Oh, the code in the description, and the link. Um, I think it was like Guido Sniper Sale or something. Something really long. I didn't come up with the code. It's alright. Um, thanks for watching. Anyway, uh, this is this has been fun. I, I quite I quite like this. This is probably. Um, it's probably my favourite bolt action out of the box so far. Yeah. Alright, and uh, don't forget, if you like what I'm doing here, feel free to uh, buy me a coffee. The buy me a coffee link is also below. Um, shout outs to my coffee buyers, shout outs to uh, Adam Hoy and Justin. Uh, thanks for buying me coffees, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Peace.